and a very warm welcome. I am Prachi Sharma. We have got you all the latest news and updates from the blockchain technology world. But first, let's take a look at the headlines. Meta sued over crypto scam ads in Australia. Ether leads rally among altcoins. Bitcoin near forty-two thousand dollars. BAYC's ApeCoin surges ninety percent on second day of trading. Cricket NFT marketplace is raising hundred million dollars. Argentina's government forty-five billion dollars IMF debt deal that could discourage crypto usage. Fedrit hike doubles crypto firm circles evaluation to nine billion dollars. Universal Music's Web3 label acquires Board Ape NFT for three hundred sixty thousand dollars. Animoca Brands invests $10 million in blockchain gaming platform Lava Labs. President of fake UN affiliate convicted of fraud in crypto scam. Meta, the parent company of social media giant Facebook, has been sued by the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, the chief competition regulator in Australia, for failing to clamp down on cryptocurrency scam advertisements. The alleged advertisements displayed on Facebook showed images of celebrities, TV show hosts and politicians promoting cryptocurrencies as a sure shot way to getting wealthy. According to the Australian Commission chairman Rod Sims, the company should have done more to protect users from malicious advertisements. Meta, however, asserts that it has been cooperating with the regulator while toting its scam detecting technology. Numerous prominent Australian personalities such as politician Mike Bard have become embroiled in cryptocurrency fraud schemes with their names being invertedly used for promoting such products. Most cryptocurrencies traded higher Saturday at her lead rally among alternative coins while Bitcoin rallied to trade near $42,000 tracking high stocks and as investors seemed ready to take on more risk. Ethereum climbed was trading above 6% in the past 24 hours just shy of $3,000 for the first time in 2 weeks. Meanwhile, Bitcoin was near $42,000 and was up nearly 4% over the same time period. Ether rally comes after its merger of the Kiln testnet ahead of the blockchain's eventual move to a proof of stake network with network validators now producing post merge blocks containing transactions. Meanwhile, the average funding rate or the cost of holding long BTC position in the perpetual futures listed on exchanges in the perpetual swaps market ticked higher, possibly reflecting bullish sentiment. The Board Ape Yacht Club linked ApeCoin is up 90% on its second day of trading, rebounding to over $15 after lows of $6.48 on Thursday. The boost gives the token a $3.8 billion market cap, making it the 37th largest coin according to CoinMarketCap. Whereas CoinGecko lists it at 66th with a market cap of $1.7 billion. NFT owners of the converted Ape collection were airdropped 10,000 Ape coins each, totaling 15% of the coin's total supply. The trendy coin is listed on major exchanges including Coinbase, FTX, Binance and Gemini. Ape coin is currently trading around $13. Fancraze, the developer of a non-fungible token marketplace trading official Cricket Collectibles is raising around $100 million from a funding round according to reports by Bloomberg. B Capital Group and Insight Partners are expected to be leading the latest funding round with participation from South Korea's Mirai Asset. Reportedly, international soccer superstar Cristiano Ronaldo is also among the celebrity investors, the report said. Fancraze secured a partnership with International Cricket Governing Body, the International Cricket Council, last November to launch a cricket NFT marketplace. That coincides with Fancraze's name phase at the time raising $17.4 million in a seed funding round that was led by Tiger Global Management. Fancray CEO Anshuman Bhamri has earlier said that the firm's goal is to build the metaverse of cricket. The platform is built on Flow, the same blockchain that hosts NBA Top Shots, the digital collectibles platform that won widespread popularity last year. Late Thursday, after an overwhelming majority voted in favour, the Argentina Senate approved a debt agreement worth $45 billion with the International Monetary Fund. The IMF Argentina Debt 
agreement ties to a broader bargain that incorporates a ban on crypto usage. The agreement with the IMF has left the country's cryptocurrency industry worried about what this legislation may imply if implemented. The IMF's goal is to maintain the stability of the global monetary and financial system and crypto assets are rocking the boat. If the Argentina government caves to IMF demands, the crypto industry will suffer a loss. The Federal Reserve's decision to start raising rates has helped crypto firm Circle Internet Financial Limited boost the valuation of its pending merger with the special purpose acquisition company to $9 billion. Circle had previously struck a deal last July to merge with the same SPAC Concord Acquisition Corporation at a valuation that is 50% lower than what it attained in February. In the intervening seven months, Circle more than doubled its expected revenue for 2022 and 2023, creating a new windfall for the crypto firm and its bankers. Like a bank, Circle earns a yield on its book of assets and that yield tends to rise when internet rates go up. In Circle's case, it anticipates earning an extra $2.3 billion in interest income in the next two years based on where interest rate future traded in mid-January and increases estimates of how much USDC will be in circulation by the end of 2023. Universal Music Group has piled on to the laundry list of brands and large companies capitalizing on blue chip NFT collection Board Ape Yacht Club. The company's Web3 label 1022PM has acquired Board Ape hashtag 5537 for $360,817, roughly 125 Ether. The Board Ape character named Manager Know It All will lead 1022PM's virtual NFT band called Kingship as its manager. Kingship consists of four digital characters, one mutant ape and three board ape NFTs all from collector Jimmy McNeil's personal holdings. And the band, which was announced in November, is now joined by its new manager. Lava Lab said it raised $10 million in its latest round of funding, which valued the company at over $100 million. The London-based blockchain gaming startup plans to invest the capital in developing new multiplayer Web3 game AFAR. AFAR is a multiplayer game that involves 25 players competing against each other in four-minute battles of four rounds. Lava Lab said the funding was led by Swiss venture capital firm Dialectic. Other firms participating included Animoca Brands, Dragonfly, DeFinance, Merit Circle and Dapper Labs. In addition to Angels, Nick Chong, Santiago R. Santos, Gabby Deason also invested. The gaming platform also said players will be able to start using their lands in a mini-game in the second quarter this year while the development of the main game continues. Lava Labs was founded in 2019 and is backed by Trip Hawkins, the founder of American video game company Electronic Arts. Hawkins serves as executive coach and advisor at the studio. The president of a fictitious United Nations affiliate has been convicted of defrauding investors in a crypto offering following a one-week jury trial. ASA St. Clair 49, a resident of Washington, D.C., has been convicted of wire fraud for devising an investment scheme that scammed more than 60 victims into providing loans to a sham organization he had invented. The World Sports Alliance, he claimed, was an affiliate of the UN promoting the values of sports that was developing IGOBIT, a digital coin that guaranteed returns on investment in a scheme that ran from November 2017 to around September 2019. More than 60 victims of St. Clair's scam were defrauded of hundreds of thousands of dollars, according to the Department of Justice press release. The count of wire fraud carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. St. Clair is scheduled to be sentenced by a judge on July 19. That's all in the bulletin for now. Keep watching Crypto TV.